Hello and welcome to my creative space. Welcome to another DIY video. If you're not already, I would love for you to subscribe and join this creative squad. In today's video, I have some easy spring DIYs. So let's jump right in. For this project, I ran into these beautiful burlap fabrics at Dollar Tree. I've had them for a little bit and I was like, these would make perfect pillows. So here we are. I'm gonna take this stripe one. It's a really springy and I absolutely love it. Plus, I'm a sucker for these kind of colors, so I'm not gonna lie. So what I'm gonna do first is take the fabric and because it was all rolled together, I'm trying to, I guess, fold where the creases are to make it a little bit more straight. It does work um but um here we are so then i'm gonna take the plain uh, burlap fabric and that's gonna be the back of my pillow and i do the same i take it in where the folds are i kind of force it to go the opposite way to um, avoid it from trying to roll back up so you can actually sew this together but i'm not gonna sew it i'm going to hot glue it these i want them for my back porch and glue is gonna work just fine but feel free to sew them if you like now what i'm gonna do is place my pattern fabric facing me and then we're gonna glue the plain one right on top i'm gonna use hot glue and uh, i'm gonna glue the edges first once i do the edges um, i'm gonna fold it to create a seam and that's gonna go on the inside i know but it's gonna be very helpful to hold all that together so here is what it looks like when all of this is done of course leave an opening because we're gonna need to stuff our pillow in there so once that is done we're gonna uh, bring the inside out and this is what it's looking like it's looking super, super cute. Now I'm gonna take my pillow. If you need info on pillows, these ones I got them from Amazon is a pack of four and they've been very, very helpful. I use them all the time and rotate uh, pillowcases and they're still standing, I love them. So I take the pillow, I stuff it in there and then we're gonna glue the ends. And to glue them, what I do is push the fabric in to create a seam. I would say half an inch inside and then I hot glue those two pieces together a little bit by little and then we were done. Now, this was super easy to do. You could do other part patterns. You can even add some wording on them and they will look super, super cute. Dollar Tree does carry different patterns and I can't wait to pick up more. And that was all for this project. I absolutely love how these ones turned out. Now, let's take a look at the end result. Hello creative squad i hope you're having an amazing day i wanted to make a quick pause to say hi to those of you that are new to my channel hi my name is wendy and i love sharing my creative space with you if you're not already subscribed be sure to hit that subscribe button before you leave also check out my instagram and tiktok for extra content and now i know we're here for diy so let's jump back into the video for the next project, I'm going to take these bunches of flowers that I picked up from Dollar Tree. Very colorful. Go wild. Then I'm going to also be using a scrap of wood. I really thought I had the Dollar Tree uh, long planks, but I didn't. So I'm going to have to use this one. You can also not use it and you'll see why. I'm going to use these uh, garlands that I already had purchased from Amazon. What I'm going to do first is take my wooden plank and I'm going to spray paint it with this green color. Check out the description box for the exact color. Then here we have it already painted. Now what I'm going to do is grab my two garlands. I'm going to start with one and I'm going to staple this down to my wooden plank. You could hot glue it, but I like to reuse my stuff, so I am just going to uh, staple it. That way I can remove the staples and use this for another project later on. The purpose for this video is to use what you have at home. I mean, I did buy flowers to put on here, but um, you know, a lot of us, especially me that I craft, I keep a lot of flowers and greenery laying around. And sometimes I'm like, what do I do with it? And then I'm like, well, we can make a centerpiece because I really do need one for my dining table so here we are now check the description box if you want to know exactly which garlands these are from amazon i really really love them so i used two to make it a little bit more fluffy and full and then after all of that is stapled down i take my picks and i'm going to cut them individually 
Doing this is going to help me spread all this color throughout the centerpiece. Now here we have everything is cut and ready to go. So now it's time to grab our centerpiece and start placing them. Some of these are just stuffed in there. Some other ones are wrapped in there, especially the ones on the edge. I had to wrap because they didn't have support. But if you're going to sit this on your table and then you just want to place the pics, then it'll be totally fine. Now, um, I wish Dollar Tree would have had brighter color. But unfortunately, this is all my local Dollar Trees had, so we're going to work with it. Then I, um, it looks great as it is, but I really wanted that Easter touch since Easter's coming up. So I had these Dollar Tree eggs and I decided to place them all around and I think it made a huge difference. Now, once Easter's over, I will remove those and I will see if Dollar Tree has any other flowers that I can add because I still think it needs a little bit more. But with the eggs right now, it made a huge difference. I absolutely love it i also had these cute little um bunnies and those were bought like a few years ago from target but i think i need bigger ones i'm not gonna buy any because easter is right around the corner so i just placed these ones to give that little bit more easter touch but that is all for this now i will show you what it looks like without the eggs and then i will show you what it looks like with the eggs and then i hope you love this project let me know what you think in the comments down below For this project, I'm going to be using this Dollar Tree wire wreath, another garland from Amazon, some flowers, and some zip ties. What I'm going to do first is take the wire wreath and the garland, and we are going to use zip ties to secure this into place. I started with some black ones, but then throughout the video, I ran out of them, and so I had to switch to the red. I did not want to use them because I thought that they might see through once we have everything, but they're not at all the flowers and everything we're going to add is going to cover this up, so we will be totally okay. So once I zip tied that, I turned the zip tie around so the tails are hanging to the back and then at the end we turn it around and then we cut all of them off and it looks perfect to me now here is what our reef looks like it looks a little bit like it needs a little bit more um there's a lot of space so what i do is take these flowers these flowers are also from amazon but you can absolutely use uh flowers from dollar tree to recreate this or even walmart walmart carries some really cute flowers i used them on my last video i really love them and i wish i had more so i could have used on my last diy the centerpiece but we didn't so we go with what we got so what i do here is take the flower and instead of uh zip tying this i and I, how do I say this? I put it under the stems of these garlands to secure them. And I think it looks really great. It hold up awesome. Now, this is what it looks like when it's almost done. It's looking amazing. I really like these colors. You know, I'm a sucker for pink and very light colors. Then I had these other foam flowers that are also from Amazon, but you again, you can add whatever you have handy. And I think that gave them that pop of color that I wanted. Then I had these Dollar Tree sign. I didn't show you at the beginning, but I decided to use it and I think it's perfect for this spring DIY. It has a little bird and a little flower and it, these metal signs already come with the hole so i just wrap some wire on it and then i tie that to my wreath at the top and then that was all for this project it was super easy to do you're more than welcome to spray paint those signs i didn't i think it was perfect the way it was i absolutely love it let me know what you think in the comments down below and now let's take a look at the end result Creative Squad, if you made it all the way to the end, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave if you're not already. And be sure to check out one of these videos because I know you're going to find more inspo. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you on my next DIY. Bye!